Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of vs for Build. We're here working on our camper truck. A little recap on this truck. We bought this thing crashed at auction. It was pretty rough. We had to actually go in and cut off the front of the frame and replace the frame section and replace a lot of the different coolers and things like that on the front of the vehicle, but we got it to run and start once again. And then we started in on the camper part of it, taking off the truck bed, cutting the back of the cab out, extending our frame and building out our floor. So to frame out our habitat, the whole camper box that we're building onto the back of this truck, we need to first design it. And to do that, we're gonna need to jump into the computer. Before we get down to work, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Fiverr. If you don't know what Fiverr is, it's a great place to go to help connect you with different freelancers that offer a huge range of different digital services. I've used Fiverr for things like graphic creation. Uh, you can use it for things like photo editing. Say you want some touch up on maybe some family photos you've done. There's everything from 3D modeling to voiceover acting, tons of great stuff. And recently I had two big jobs that I wanted to get done on Fiverr. The first one was a new graphic of our 67 Mustang fastback. I wanted to get a graphic created that we could put on t-shirts and hoodies and sell on our website. So I started looking on Fiverr for t-shirt designers and I eventually found this person right here, Frozen Pixel. And I chose Frozen Pixel for two reasons. They have a lot of great reviews. You can see overall five star review, but also their portfolio is full of stuff that I really like the style of. And you can see that they have experience in doing car graphics. So that was a no brainer. And two days later, we had this graphic right here for our new t-shirt and hoodie line. Frozen Pixel was great to work with. They had a very extensive depth of knowledge about screen printing and being able to design for printing on things like shirts and hoodies. And I absolutely love the design that he came up with. And some of you guys have already seen this. This is live in our store right now. And speaking of our store, that's the second thing I wanted to get done. I wanted to freshen up our website a little bit with a new theme. So I did a quick search for Shopify theme developers and I found this person right here, Happy Code. Again, huge amount of reviews, five stars. Happy Code's portfolio shows a huge breadth and depth of really good professional looking work that I really, really appreciated. And it showed that he had a huge knowledge base. And working with them was a breeze. It was not only fast, but he's able to pinpoint exactly what I wanted and help me build something that was not overwhelming, very simplistic, and fast to load. So I chose this person for my website theme, and two days later, we had a brand new website theme. So if you go to bsforbuild.com right now, you're going to see our new theme along with our new t-shirt and hoodie. So guys, for your next project, head over to Fiverr and find the right freelancer for you. There is a link at the top of the description. It's also on the screen right here. FVRR.co slash B is for build. And remember to use my promo code B is for build and you're gonna get 10% off. Huge thanks to Fiverr for sponsoring this episode. Let's get down to work. All right, getting started here on the computer, we're gonna go ahead and set a ground level so we can actually emulate the truck on the floor. And first thing we gotta do is change the frame rails. This 3D model came with random frame rails in a random spot. We gotta set the actual height and then build our flooring for the habitat on those frame rails in real life in relation to where it actually lands on the truck. Now that we have that all in there, I'm looking at the siding and the facets on the side of the box, the habitat box, and I'm starting to build our main frame rails that are gonna run right behind the cab and in the very, very back. It's creating our really, really strong box around the whole exterior of the habitat. And although that software is not the best thing in the world for engineering, it does kick us out the lengths and the angles that we need. So now all we gotta do is cut all these things to length and angle and weld them together. From 3D model to reality, we've got our first uprights and these go right here. They're gonna get mounted right here and run up and be our upper hoop. The back ones are a little bit different because they go up and then they lean in and those will be the next cut. You can, you probably can't hear anything right now, but um, right now it's rain coming down really hard, but supposed to be more snow. We're dealing with crazy snowstorms right here. It's caused a really hard time to get materials and even just getting into the shop. So once again, Oscar and I are bailing so we can make sure that we get home and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we made it back home. So the snow is falling and it's not too bad. You can see the road conditions aren't terrible. 
But we have been dealing with a pretty good bit of snow, as I'm sure a lot of you guys across America are as well. So you're not alone. Now, that's kept us out of the shop a little bit more than we want. And also, like I said, not able to get the materials. Tomorrow, I'm really hoping we're going to be able to make a big material run. But let's go ahead and prep and get ourselves ready for tomorrow. See, this is the beauty of being able to work in 3D. We can get all the plans completely planned out. And I can get material quantities game planned out. And then we'll know how we're going to build everything and how much materials to buy before we start the morning tomorrow. So we're in the shop modeling earlier today. We got these two hoops and those are the basis of our habitat box. We're gonna also reinforce the cab back and then frame up the walls, the roof, and the camper section. And we'll see what we got. All right, so that looks pretty good. We've got everything all kind of framed up, but there's a big thing left here. We have no doors and no windows in the habitat. So to build doors and windows, we're gonna kind of emulate what you would see in a traditional housing and house framing. That's gonna change up our framing game plan a little bit. So I'm gonna pick the size of the windows I want based on what I can find online or I feel like making, and we'll design all our windows and doors. Okay, I got the doors and windows all placed up, but I don't have everything optimally framed out yet, and that is because it's the next day. I spent a lot of time on this, and I gotta get to the shop to meet the guys at the shop where I will finish this thing out. Let's go. Almost all of the snow is gone. Definitely safe enough to drive. Someone commented on me driving the Range Rover in the last episode. I, I guess I haven't updated you guys on the whole daily situation. Ever since the uh, BS for Build road trip to New Jersey, I shipped this thing back home from Jersey and I've pretty much been dealing it ever since because it gets so much better uh, gas mileage than the Raptor and it has um, double laminated windows, uh, which I'm not exactly, I mean, I know what it means because I've installed this window, but it's like two panes of glass with a layer of lamination in the middle and it makes it really, really quiet. So this is a extremely comfortable and functional ride. I mean, the four wheel drive system in this thing is amazing and I mean, Jeremy Clarkson also daily drives one, so I figured if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. I've just been putting a lot of miles on this thing, and it's supercharged, so it's not slow by any means. Anyways, almost to the shop. Got all the steel? Mm -hmm. Wow, and you brought all that here in what, a half ton pickup truck? Yep. And did your frame bend in half? It, almost, no, it, no, not at all. <laughs> and, and, and did you do a wheelie? Did your front wheels leave the ground? I don't believe they did. Oh, what was the other thing people thought was gonna happen to this thing? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> there you have it, guys. So adding that much steel to the back of this truck, which it can tow and uh, payload rated at least triple what Oscar's truck is, it's not gonna not gonna break the truck. We did see all of your comments. Thank you so much for the input, but uh, we're pretty sure we're pretty okay on this, and we are gonna continue with the B is for build methodology of let's try it. If it breaks, we'll fix it, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. This thing has a 5,000 pound payload rating and we're putting about 1,500 pounds of steel across the back, but we're spreading the load across cab and back. And I do know what you guys are talking about, about as far as like moving the tow hitch back. Yes, we can no longer tow 20,000 pounds, which is what this thing is rated for. But when we tow like a car like that, we have like two to 300 pounds of tongue weight. It's, it's nothing. That's not what that hitch is rated for. Now that hitch was not rated for 20,000. We took the 20,000 pound hitch off, but this one's still rated for a lot. Yeah, it's no longer an 8,000 pound hitch, but none of us have our CDL, so we weren't gonna be towing a massive. You don't have your CDL anymore, it expired. I just need a physical and I'm good, but I'm not gonna get that. So. Yeah, none of us uh, have our CDL or plan on getting it, so if we're ever looking at hauling like more than two cars, honestly, it's just a, uh, we hire somebody. So, shall we get back to building? Let's do it. While Oscar is working on our two inch by two inch uh, hoops, we're calling them, got Zane and Kyle here working on our one inch construction for the over cab box. Our goal is to get the hoops in, the cab reinforcement and the overhead box um, framed out. So they're working on this like somewhat trapezoidal shape that's gonna come off here and hang out all the way up here. And I am back on the computer working on the model.
construction update time. These guys are getting the, the beginning of the front box all lined out. They've got um, about eight pieces cut, so that's looking good. We're gonna get it here on the floor and then we're gonna tack weld it together and then we're gonna somehow move it over there. Uh, everything that we're gonna be doing in the future is working way higher up than we have been in a long time, uh, ever actually. So it's gonna be tricky. Lots of ladders. Lots of ladders, which we have like what, one? One rickety one. <laughs> the, oh, the death ladder, that's all we have? Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, okay, our, our other ladders are out at our boat. If you want a boat update, uh, it's still freezing cold, hence all the snow. So, and there's, there's some talks about um, alternative energy sources for the, I don't wanna get into it. And Oscar's got our two by two uprights um, done. So those ones are the ones that go on the front. So that first post that you see right out there, they, they go in right there. Uh, he's working on the back now, and that goes uh, right off of this piece right here. So he's gonna go ahead and finish making out this hoop, including the roof piece on the floor, and then we'll pick it up and we're gonna walk it over there and that'll actually be the first piece that we get onto the truck. And then we'll get the second, uh, get these two backs. They go upright, then they connect, and then the two of them connect that way and it'll build in a nice strong box. Exciting, our two inch, what are we calling these? Are like, these are our, our, they're like the really, really strong pieces of the puzzle. There's three really strong pieces, one for the cabin and then two for this. Anyways, these are ready to be welded onto the frame now. So this one actually goes in the back and that one goes in the front. We're gonna go ahead and swip swap these around, move this guy over to the front. And so the truck right now doesn't have enough weight in the back. Um, so it's, it's leaning up, it's like it's totally uphill. So we have to build everything 90 degrees off the truck bed and not off the world. So this thing will technically be leaning over this way, which should be fine. Um, and we're gonna get this thing welded in, this thing welded in, and then the, the cross supports that go across and tie them together will cut up and uh, weld in next. This is awesome, and it's huge. Uh, by the way, we did measure the garage door, but with the truck being at a slant, right now it won't clear. So we have to add more weight in the back, which obviously we plan on doing, so fingers crossed. Either that or we're gonna have to deflate the tires to get it out of here. But right now, it won't fit out the garage door. Oh, we also, uh, as another backup plan, we could all just stand on the very back of it and that should weigh it down on another inch or so. But this is super cool, it's really exciting. Kyle clears, Kyle's the tallest of us at about six foot one, and he clears with plenty of headroom, so um, success, success. This is really, really exciting. So now we're gonna go ahead, cut and cope the two in-betweens, and then that'll finish boxing this thing in. The box is built. So, this thing now that it's uh, now that it's been welded out, it's super super strong. It's really rigid. You can see I'm moving the whole truck by tugging on it. This is really rad. Now the next thing that we got to start working on two things. Oscar's going to be working on this back cab sectioning off. So we have a bunch of two by four rail that is meant to box in this back cab section, make it really, really strong. It's like a safety, like roll bar thing that's going through there. And the reason it's two by four is we want a little bit to overhang for cosmetic reasons. So boxing this whole, this whole thing in, so we can kind of like transitioning from rounded cab edges to, to hard edges for our, uh, our habitat structure. So Oscar's gonna start cutting all that stuff and cutting away at what we need to in this so we can get it all welded together and reinforced. And over here, we've taken the measurements from the 3D models and started cutting them all out of a million different pieces of one inch. We've got all of this stuff all cut to length here. 
and, uh, and, and measured out and everything. So it's time to start uh, playing the assembly game. And the idea is we're gonna try and build a lot of this on the floor. And this is like the sleeper camper that goes above the cab there. We're gonna try and build a lot of this on the floor so we know it's all based off of a nice and flat, even surface. And then somehow, I have no idea, we're gonna try and lift it and then move it over and go on top of the cab. It's not gonna be a weight thing, it's just a very awkward shape. And I'm honestly not even 100% sure if we can rotate it from like this to like that. But hey, that's for us to figure out, not for you to worry about. Let's start welding it together. The cab support bar is in, the two by four support bar. This is one beef E bar, but this will be really good for safety. It's not fully welded out yet, but you can see how it, it comes up with the cab and then it goes up this way. We needed to start slanting in right about here and that's where we can start to tie in to our overhead uh, kind of situation of the habitat as well. So nice up and in and a really safe bar. That ties into this with some uh, two inch we'll tie in down here and in other places we tie it all together, make it really, really strong. So that's in there. It's not fully welded out, but it is in there and looking good. We're gonna go ahead and start testing our fitment on the, uh, the over cab um, part of like the, the sleeping area. It's one of the bed areas um, that Kyle's standing by right here. So we gotta get this guy up on the roof test fit it against that, and then we can get our um, U-shaped pieces that we talked about earlier uh, tacked in up top, and then start seeing where our diagonals connect. Starting to look like a camper. I'm really happy with this. All of our measurements are lining up pretty good, which is great considering we didn't have a 3D scan of the cab. Let me show you what it's looking like up on the roof though. I don't know what it is about BS for building. We had a death stool that, Oscar, what happened to the death stool? That thing I saw it like with the trash broken in half. We still have it. We still have it? I'm pretty sure we still have it. It's not broken in half? It's broken in half. <laughs> it's, it's broken half, but we still have it. Cool, when we get the new shop, we should put it back together and like, it'll yeah. Survive. Yeah, it'll survive. All right, so this is like our bed sleeper box right here. It needs to be elevated off of the roof panel. It can't sit on the roof panel. This drip rail right here is pretty reinforced by the roof, so we're gonna build a, uh, build a thing where we weld off of that drip rail and up and into the bottom of this to support the bottom from the bottom. It also welds in there, and then as you can see, we've kind of mocked it up with just a piece right here and some tape to visualize how it's gonna kind of come through and connect coming down. It's really exciting. This is definitely the, uh, the most interesting piece as far as like leverage and stuff. We really need to support it at an angle kind of coming down from the big sturdy roof line um, to make sure that that overhang doesn't get too much leverage on this and start caving in the roof. But um, it will be very evident if it sinks because it will do just that. It'll start caving in the roof and then we'll know we got a, got a problem we gotta fix. Well, progress is definitely cooking along, but we've still got a lot more to go. And as you've seen from the 3D model, we've got big plans. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks to Fiverr for sponsoring this episode. Guys, head to fiverr.co slash build and use code BSforBuild for 10% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Come on.